hi and uh, welcome back uh, to my channel so this is a very quick uh, video uh, just to answer a question that uh, I've read uh, just now uh, on reddit so uh, reddit has a subreddit called uh, our hacker app uh, where, our, where people discuss about obviously the hacker app and uh, this question uh, captured my attention so the user is asking if the hacker app can be used as a, an arbitrary waveform generator and uh, specifically um, he asked uh, he, he says i know that the hacker app has to be turned on just with a 50 ohm uh, load uh, the problem is that my oscilloscope has 100 mega ohm uh, input impedance is it possible to connect the hacker app to the oscilloscope without uh, damaging it so indeed uh, uh, that's a good question so if you connect uh, directly uh, the hacker app to the input of uh, um, oscilloscope indeed uh, most oscilloscope, uh, of oscilloscopes have uh, an input impedance of uh, one mega ohm okay instead the hacker app expects an input impedance on the load of uh, 50 ohm so really the situation that uh, we have is is the following the the HRF is this device it has an internal resistance of 50 ohm and uh, if we connect it uh, uh, to the oscilloscope which is this uh, device here the oscilloscope has an internal resistance of uh, one uh, uh, mega ohm so the problem with that is uh, that this will cause uh, reflections so when the signal starts from here it reaches the oscilloscope but then it finds uh, an unexpected impedance and a big part of the signal will be reflected back and the HRF is very very uh, sensitive and does not uh, accept uh, too much uh, reflections so it, it is indeed possible to break your HRF if you just do that so if you observe my video so far I sometimes connected uh, my HRF uh, to the uh, input of the scope here which indeed has a 100 mega, a 1 mega ohm input impedance but I use this uh, T connector here. So this connector is in fact uh, composed of, yeah, just one T connector. This basically split uh, the signal into two parts. And one of these two parts is going to the oscilloscope. The other is connected by, to this uh, 50 ohm uh, termination as this. So really effectively what, uh, what is uh, being done here is uh, um, adding in parallel to the oscilloscope another uh, 50 ohm resistance this terminator as follows okay sorry for the horrible uh, diagram here so uh, now the acrep does not see just one mega ohm as before but two parallel resistances one of 50 ohm and the one and one of uh, one uh, mega ohm so if you if you do the calculations so the, the standard, uh, there are standard websites that you use uh, to do the calculation for uh, resistance in parallel. So one resistor is uh, one, and one million ohms, so one mega ohm. The other is uh, 50 ohms. If we calculate, uh, we get the result of, uh, here it says uh, 50 ohms, okay? It is just an approximation. The real calculation that you have to do, if you check in Wikipedia, you can find uh, the formula for a uh, compute in parallel resistance is uh, the formula gives 50 multiplied by 1 million so 50 ohm multiplied by 1 mega ohm which is of course 50 millions divided by 50 plus 1 million which is just 1 million and 50 so if you do the, the calculation you get an out uh, result of uh, 49.99 ohms which is basically um, which is basically 50 ohm uh, in practical terms so yeah, uh, a very cheap way, uh, these things cost very close to nothing, so you can buy them on Amazon, AliExpress, eBay for 5 euros, I mean both the T and the Terminator. So yeah, that's a, a possible way to connect your HRF to the input of an oscilloscope without damaging anything. So um, this is the end for this video, if you have any comments please leave them uh, below and uh, feel free to like, uh, to like it. Bye!